Oh, the State Fair is so near, and it's time to indulge in all those delicious treats that we only get once a year. And we're joined by Miss Chef Cassie today, and she's going to show us how to make her prized collard greens. That sounds fantastic. Thank especially you. Especially on a Friday morning. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fair weather today, so I'm already in the mood. Exactly. It's yes. great to have you. So tell me a little bit. We're going to make these right here. We are. And you're going to be actually making these at the fair this year. Correct. And this is your second year to be there. Yes. This is my second year at the fair. Um, the first year went very, very well for us. Mm -hmm. um, the line grew to be over an hour wait. I bet. But this year we're going to keep the line down and have a lot of product for you guys. Bring and some more stuff in to get everybody fed quickly, I, right? I have already. Okay. Yes. Awesome. All right. Let's Let's show everybody how we can make these at home in case we don't get to the fair this year. Okay, um, I've already pre-cooked some greens mm -hmm. and I want you to add a little cream cheese to the green mixture. Oh, mix it in here? Uh-huh. Tell me how you pre-cooked your greens real quick. Um, I actually, I buy frozen greens. You can buy fresh or frozen. If mm -hmm. you buy them fresh, you're going to have to clean them mm -hmm. and then you put them in a pot of water mm -hmm. with onions and salt and pepper and garlic and right. any kind of seasoning you'll season to taste okay. and then you let them cook until they're soft okay. and depending on the quantity that you're making it may take about 30 minutes it could take an hour if it's right. a very large pot okay okay so once your greens are cooked you need to drain them and then mix them with cream cheese okay i got to get more cream cheese in there okay. i'm just doing this well, too polite let's just get in here where <laughs> and give me a, that cream cheese <laughs> it's okay. a little stiff i've already mixed this if you want to just grab that okay okay yeah. so take this and you're going to so we'll it. move on <laughs> okay these are our one ton wrappers that i purchased at a local store okay so you want to one put time wrappers is that what you said one ton one ton yes you said one time <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I never heard of those. Yes, one ton. Okay, that's a little bit too much. If you have too much in oh. there, it'll, it'll, it'll pop well, open on you. I like them kind of stuffed, Cassie. Well, it's going to be stuffed. Okay. But you want to put it in there in an angle. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you want to take a little water. Yes, ma'am. And brush the edges. Brush the edges. And if you want to use an egg wash, you can. It works just fine. Yeah, I like to use egg wash. I don't know why. I just feel like I've got more glue in that in that egg. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's, it's moist all the way around. Then you want to grab it. And you want to make like a little dumpling. Correct, exactly like a dumpling. I'm going to awesome. pinch the, the ends closed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to drop it in the deep fryer. Super cute. Okay, you drop in the deep fryer. Can I make my own? Sure. Okay, I'm going to do this real quick because I need more than one. That's not enough. We need. Some, where's that filling you hid? I saw that down here. <laughs> That's I'm it. I'm going to get some more filling in mine. Okay. I know you don't want me to overstuff it, but I just I like those little puppies as full as they can get. Brush the edges. Yes. Stop. And when you're dropping in the deep fryer, what kind of oil did you use? That's a vegetable oil, and I'm cooking it on 350. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to um, let it brown, and then I'm going to turn it over. All right. Let it brown on the other side. If you don't have one of those deep fryers at home, what can you use? You can use a skillet, but you like need to fill iron. it. Cast iron. Cast iron skillet, or even a pot. You can actually deep fry in a pot if okay. you fill the pot yeah, about halfway full. You got to get enough oil in there, though. You do. That's the trick. You have to so submerge them. Four minutes on each side, you said? No, 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 no. Like two minutes. Okay. When four it minutes browns, altogether. So watch it. You, deep or something you have to watch How's constantly. It looks great. It's cute. Good job. Awesome. Tell me, tell me what you made last year. I'm just curious. Everybody was so lined up for. Um, the greens was you number the one. Yeah, okay. I, I'm definitely, and so I'm bringing the greens back, and then um, I fry chicken. Oh. And when, I, when, when the chicken's done, it comes out. I put a honey pecan glaze on top. Oh. <laughs> no wonder there was a line. Are you gonna be making that as well this year? Yes, I am. So nice. we have the fried chicken wings with the honey pecan glaze, okay. or buffalo ranch, mm. plain, or mm -hmm. just ranch, mm -hmm. dirty rice, and Kool-Aid pickles. Oh, what Kool-Aid pickles? What is that? Kool-Aid pickles are pickles that have been brined in Kool-Aid okay. that's sweet, uh -huh. so they're sweet and salty. Oh, wow. Awesome. <laughs> okay. And where are you going to be located at the fair so we can I'm find you? I'm in the Midway. In the Midway. And, yes. Okay. And if you look at a map, mm -hmm. they have a new tower ride up there that's a pole ride. It goes straight up in the sky. It's a big, huge white pole. Okay. The booth is back there by the white pole, and it says Chef Cassie's all around the banner. Look for Chef Cassie by the big pole on the Midway. Yes. Oh, I'm going to find you. I'm going to try. Uh, but in the meantime, i got to try this really, really okay. quick. Can I? Oh, we serve them with hot sauce. Mm. Oh, Kathy, no wonder you have a line. I love it. Oh, <laughs> fried collard greens, yum. Okay, look for Chef Cassie, like we said, on the Midway this year. And let her know that you saw her on the broadcast. Please. That'll make her day. And to get her recipe or to try this yourself at home, visit us at thebroadcasttv.com. And then go click on today's link. You can download it right there. All right, up next. Raise your hand if you need a massage. Me. <laughs> well, next week you can get one, and we're going to help you learn all about it, how to make it for a good cause when we come back. Stay with us. Mm -hmm.